Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajni Khan and today's video we're gonna see how to refresh configuration files without server restart. Okay, so in last video we have seen how to read our uh, configuration files like uh, different application dot properties file from config server instead of our uh, local project. Okay, so now we'll see whenever we'll update anything to those configurations file. So how we'll reload those uh, reload those values in our microservices without restarting those microservices. Okay, so uh, in details we'll gonna see. So before proceeding to this video, uh, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it immediately and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side right so it's a complete uh, microservice series already there you can watch uh, earlier videos as well okay so let's start okay so reload updated config without server restart so how we'll do this one okay so the concept is Micro different microservices are there m1 m2 m3 and config server is there okay and all those uh, properties files all those property file with different environments are present here in uh, this uh, git or bitbucket bitbucket right in this git in this git repository all those property file are present suppose uh, some property file we have changed into this git repo we have updated some properties to this git repo then how it will reflect to our microservices right so without uh, restarting uh, the server of each microservices how we'll achieve this and we're gonna see okay so stepwise will go so for this one we need to add actuator so actuator is a health check and data monitoring api uh, which is out of the box uh, uh, API it will provide so just we need to add the dependency in our microservice then it will expose a uh, lots of uh, URLs and APIs okay this is one uh, dependency we need to add and another is cloud starter config dependency we need to add in each form dot XML of different microservices okay so let's uh, first add these dependencies so already have ticket booking service where from uh, in this microservice we are reading this property file ticket booking service tab dot properties broad qa and uh, different things from we are reading from this repository through uh, config server okay so here in this form.xml I need to add those two dependencies right so already those two dependencies are handy with me uh, let's add these two dependency okay let's copy and go to this form.xml Okay, so Spring Cloud Starter Configs already present here. Okay, as we have uh, reading those property files from config server, that's why it's uh, already present. Only I need to add uh, this actuator. Okay, so let me add below to this one then control s let's see it's building so it's downloading those dependency jars okay so once we have added those dependencies the relevant uh, libraries it will download in our project okay let's see what is the next step so next step enable actuator endpoints though we have added those dependencies but all those endpoints it will not exposes to us right so 
uh, we need to expose all those endpoints manually by ourselves by adding a properties into our application dot properties let me show you that one the property this management dot endpoints dot web dot exposure dot include include all those endpoints we are saying so let's go to uh, application dot properties and here let me paste management dot endpoints dot web dot exposure dot include so it will expose all the endpoints of actuator right so actuator is very helpful say out of the box apis it will provide okay so we have done uh, let's see what is the next step next step add at the rate refresh scope annotation so where we'll add this one wherever we are using at the rate value annotation by reading those properties there in that class we need to add at the rate refresh scope okay so let's go to this one mm, here in the controller ticket controller let me add at the red refresh scope control shift o okay so it's imported good okay so now uh let's run the application once the application is running then we'll change those property file right so to start this application first we need to run config server so let me run this config server first okay so right click run our spring boot application and then i need to start payment service because ticket booking service will call to our payment service uh, let me run this one as well so if you are not aware about these applications this uh, this programs you can watch my earlier videos i have explained uh, each and everything uh, you can start from scratch so you will get all those contexts okay so payment service also i have started now let's run our ticket booking service okay so go to ticket booking main class right click run as spring boot application okay so uh, here in our local system we are doing this right click and all uh, but in real time uh, but in real time those jenkins jobs will be there uh, where automated scripts will be there which will the jenkins job will help us to deploy our application to respective uh, uh, respective servers okay so just see it's all those three uh, applications got started config server payment service ticket booking service okay so now let's hit our uh, ticket booking service so this is the ticket booking service uh, let's book a ticket with name source destination travel travel date seat number and what is the amount okay i'm traveling from hyderabad to bengaluru for the sara festival <laughs> okay so let's hit ticket booked in qa successfully just see ticket booked qa in successfully it's coming now now let's change this message in that properties file and we'll see how to reload that one without uh, changing that server without restarting the server so let's see where this uh, from where this message is coming so um, from which server it's loading qa so let's go to this qa why it's loading qa because i am uh, i have added hyphen d spring dot profile active equal to qa if you'll see the run configuration run as in run configuration i have provided hyphen d and arguments if you'll see hyphen d spring dot profile active equal to qa so currently qa active uh, qa profile is activated that's why it's picking up uh, that particular uh, ticket hyphen booking hyphen service hyphen qa dot properties okay so it's getting now ticket booked in qa successfully okay let's change this uh, message 
and we'll commit this thing in commit these things to in our git repository okay ticket booked in qa successfully by user okay by user we have added here okay now let's push these changes to our git repo so right click here uh, git bash you will see git status it will show the modified ticket happen booking happen service happen keyword properties it's got modified let me commit this one git add git. i personally love uh, this command line to perform uh, git operations uh, but but in real time ideally we should use in mixed thing right something uh, some part we will do in command line and some part we will do in id itself git commit hyphen m modified prop okay then hit okay then let's push okay before that one let me show you before pushing let me show you in qa what it is present inside that one okay so in qa just see ticket booked in qa successfully there is no updated one now let's push and we'll gonna see okay uh, git push it will push those uh, changes to remote repository okay it's done now let me uh, refresh here if you'll see uh, 34 seconds ago it's got modified and if you want to see just see that content ticket booked in qa successful by user okay so this ticket uh, booking status booking status success so this one we are referring in this controller if you'll see we are referring this one to in this controller booking status success so it will fetching that properties from uh, from that uh, repository and it is sending as a status sorry standing as sending as a uh, the response booking status success okay so now we have changed that uh, property in that repository but let's see uh, let's hit this url and see let's see whether we are getting that updated one or not so okay so let me hit that one no ticket booked in qa successfully still it's coming uh, the updated value is not coming yet okay so how will uh, how will reload those updates without restarting the microservice okay so already we have added actuator and enable endpoints and uh, now what we need to do we need to refresh our value so how we'll do that one uh, let me create rename refresh endpoint ticket booking service refresh ticket booking service okay and point will take what is that uh, ticket booking service what is that uh, url 8081 port right so let me have here uh, 8081 port and uh, here we'll have this url uh, where is that here actuator refresh this endpoint we need to hit okay so let's go and put it here let's hit Okay, I thought not allowed. Maybe it's a post request. Let's try with post. Okay, so it's sending that uh, request. Let's see what is the output. Just see config client version booking dot status dot success. This particular uh, attribute got changed, right? So it's got it's got updated now let's hit this ticket booking service and let's see whether it's getting the updated value or not okay so let's hit it again let's see ticket booked in qa successfully by user so now we are getting the updated value successfully by user okay 
so hope you got a crystal clear picture that how we'll reload our uh, configurations by uh, configurations without restarting our microservices okay so uh, thank you for watching and if you have any uh, comments you can have your comments in the comment section and if you want me to uh, upload some more videos or any specific topic then let me know then definitely i will try to upload uh, uh, those videos as well right so have a nice